Починяме. Hi! It's great to be back and it's, it's a pleasure to have here Dimitro. So I will leave him to, uh, for the introduction and for further details. Uh, hi everybody, I think there is a little lag actually because I'm seeing myself as... Uh, are you sure? Because I'm not, not, not seeing myself in the real time. Ah, okay. Uh, my name is uh, Mikhail Dimitrievsky, or as they call me, Chemicho. Not Chemico, not Chemicho, not he whatever, but Chemicho. I'm obliged to say that. And I have to apologize because I am wearing my hat. But as you know, in this quarantine state, uh, my hair is overgrown and I look like a flower. So better this way. And of course, I have to apologize because my English really, really sucks. So bear with me. It will be a short announcement for me. So I leave up to Stefan to ask me whatever or anybody of you, if, 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 feel free to ask me whatever. Sure, but definitely your art speaks much clearer. Yeah. So we're going to start with uh, chat and I want to ask uh, some questions uh, to ask Dimitri some questions. So you can also ask questions about him if you do want to know anything about him. So Micho, I'm definitely jealous uh, and also I am angry at you because last time that I was in Bitola, uh, you didn't invite me to your house to see your beautiful room. My, my, my main cave. Uh, don't worry, nobody is allowed in my because first it's very dirty. There is a lot of germs and stuff in there and actually only my kids and my wife are allowed to come in my room. But next time, I promise, when you come in Beetle and when we drink coffee, I think you drunk, drank uh, Irish coffee, you will come to my studio and of course I will let you touch the, the swords and stuff here. Sorry. Perfect, so it, it's definitely not a problem. Uh, you have started your career as, an, as a concept artist, also as a storyboard. What was your first major project? Actually, I started my career as a comic book artist because uh, from when I was little, I was uh, in love in comics from the... I, I don't know, I, I can't remember from when, but I uh, really, really love comics. And when I was a little, I used to buy, and my parents used to buy me uh, uh, Disney comics that were uh, selling in uh, former Yugoslavia that were called Mickey Zabavnik and Mickey Falmanak. And I... Actually, I, I love comics all my life, so I started as a comic book artist, uh, which is a profession that is not very, that was not very, <coughs> sorry, that was not very popular in former state and in, in this new one too, but I was determined that I will uh, earn for living through drawing and stuff like that. So I started draw comics uh, from when I remember. I have a couple of books somewhere in my studio that were actually my sister's books. And I used to draw on the margins uh, comics with Tarzan, with uh, stuff like that. Uh, but actually my professional, if I can say it like that, career started after the high school when I started to draw for the student college magazine called Students Kids Board, which was a really nice magazine for, for that time. It doesn't go out. It, it was cancelled maybe 10 or 15 years ago. I, I don't remember. It was the college students magazine. It, it, a lot of uh, journalists here in Macedonia started working there. And uh, I have the privilege and honor to publish comics uh, once in two weeks there. And I was paid quite handsomely for me in that period, you know. 18 years old and stuff like that. Uh, I continued to draw stuff. Uh, then I started to draw illustrations. Uh, luckily for me, I started to draw illustrations for some publishing. 
Pierre Macedonia, like possibly not Dylan and stuff. And around the 20 and something years, I found out Michel Ristov, if he's here, he will remember that uh, somebody is in Macedonia is making a uh, first animated 3D movie, which was called uh, Belly of Pat or White Road, I think. And I wanted to work there. So I sent my portfolio and I got accepted. Uh, there is a catch though. I was accepted in the advertising agency, IDEA Plus DDB, because uh, I sent the, my stuff to the wrong company. I thought that they were making a movie and I sent the portfolio to them. So they accept me in the advertising company. I was working in Scopy and IDEA Plus DDB for one and a half or two years, and I'm, I'm not sure. But I was working a lot, lot of in advertising in area of storyboarding and doing stuff like that, sketches for, for the posters, for the designs. I even did some design there. And uh, the most important part of working in advertising industry was that I got a lot of friends there. Uh, a lot of creative directors, uh, a lot of designers, a lot of people there. You know, uh, when somebody works in the advertising agency, if one of colleagues left the agency and uh, went to the another agency, uh, when he's working on some projects and he needs some somebody like me to work on the project, he they, they usually call me you know, uh, for storyboards or stuff like that. So the the circle of my friend was expanding. Uh, after the work in Idea Plus, I started to work. I lived in Skopje, and those were the days when the first broadband internet came to Macedonia. You're lucky now, you have a lot of internet. Uh, uh, literally, uh, when I was starting drawing comics and stuff like that, there was no internet. Uh, later, be the, there came internet, you know, the, the one uh, 56 kilo one, and we were waiting 6 o'clock in the noon. So the the payment for the phone is cheaper. Then you wait after midnight, it's even cheaper. But you know, the, the speed of that stuff was catastrophic. I remember uh, downloading pictures. It was, you know, on, on, on the floppy disk and stuff like that. And I was lucky when I worked in Skopje, I got ADSL. I don't know how you call it in English, broadband internet. And it was great. So I found out that I don't have to go work. Funny, I can work in the rented apartment in Skopje and live miserably, you know. Yes, you have you have you have lived in Skopje, definitely. I didn't know that. <laughs> and I worked for a couple of publishing companies and advertising studios and stuff like that. But again, one in the one moment I understand that uh, why do I live in Skopje with, with broadband internet uh, when I can live in Bitola with broadband internet? And you know, the amount of the amount of work and stuff like that, you I can do it from Bitola. So I moved back to Bitola because you know. I have a lot of friends here, I have a lot of family and stuff like that. And I continue to work on children's books, storyboard illustrations, concept art and stuff like that. Again, uh, it's not the drawing. You, you have to draw, you have to draw every day, you have to work, work every day. That's, that, is, that is the only way to work in this industry. Uh, but the other way is to uh, have a lot of friends and uh, know a lot of people. So uh, you, might, you must be some kind of a you know, nice guy, you must be good to people. And uh, that's one of the things you have to, to, to understand. So the people are important. The, the circle of people and the friends is very important because again, if somebody is working in, I don't know, uh, one place and goes to another, he will call you to help him on some project. If somebody is looking at this stream, maybe he will say, hey, I know a guy from Bitola who is drawing relatively nice. I can call him to work for us and stuff like that. So yes, expanding the, the, the circle of friends, people who know you and who you can communicate with and stuff like that. It's, it's great. It's great to hear that definitely because people, uh, people and friends are very important. Uh, also, I wanted to ask you a question about your, because your major project was, I think, starting from uh, Game of Thrones, I think? No, no. Uh, every project I do, 
including the Can You Draw Me For A Birthday caricature is, is important to me. You know, the scale of financing is not important. You know, uh, on every project I work in, uh, I'm uh, relatively working as a freelancer. You know, the movies I work on, I'm a art director for a movie, but you know, I'm working from home. I'm not on the on the spot, which is also very important. Uh, again, every project I work on is uh, very important to me. Uh, so uh, now in the moment I work on a couple of important projects. Again, not uh, by money, but I don't know how to categorize them. But again, every project is important for me. Uh, but if you ask me for the Game of Thrones, Specifically, I I will I will like to hear the story again because you have told. We'll start from start. Uh, I was called a couple of years ago through Facebooks and stuff. That's where it's very important. You know, uh, you can use social networks in any way you like. You can be smartest. You can uh, share political views. You can uh, share you know joking, trolling stuff and stuff like that. But the main uh, thing you must share. It's your work. It's really important for me, at least, to see that you have uh, some kind of I uh, have uh, habit of working every day, and that that is really really important. I see a lot of uh, young people from Macedonia, boys and girls, of course, that uh, are illustrators, uh, but I don't see a lot of work from them. You know, and and, and when they are looking for a job, I I can uh, I can't get a judgment based on their amount of the of the work they do but that's for for later and again a couple of years ago i'm back in, i'm going back to the board games i got a call from shem phillips from, from new zealand to work on a thing called board games i actually didn't know they existed a couple of years uh i still haven't played none of them yet and he asked me to do a couple of illustrations for the viking team game and it did and he liked them, and we did a couple of more, and we did one game, which was called Shipwrights of the North Sea, and that is uh, my first published board game. And after that, uh, in a week or two, I got a lot of emails from a lot of people and companies regarding uh, me working on they, their games, you know, their games, their books, and stuff like that. Uh, about the Game of Thrones, uh, the, the show was in that period too, I think it was first or second season or third. I know I don't remember. And I decided because my some of my friends are uh, fans of the books. I am a fan of the book too. And uh, after the st show started, I decided to draw a couple of characters from the show. I think I drew like ten of them, and the people started to uh, group around those drawings and started, you know, to ask for uh, Mark Malendor or I don't know. Cersei Lannister, Robert Baratheon when he was young, Robert Baratheon when he was old and stuff like that. And I see that the people liked it and uh, it, it, it made them happy. And you know, drawing is a uh, work and profession too. You know, you can draw something which is your job for a certain amount, but you have to have some kind of pose. Uh, that's why I'm joking. I, I, I'm having a pause from drawing with drawing stuff. So I was drawing those characters between two drawings or with, between storyboards, between illustration for board games, between concept art for the movie or stuff like that. And uh, we, I did around 500 characters of those. And you know, there is uh, still a lot of fans of those portraits. I think they put them up in a couple of Wikipedias of, fans of Ice and Fire in Russia, the main Wikipedia and stuff like that. Not everybody likes my style. I have to admit that, uh, but I draw that way, so that's it. And I got a mail from Fantasy who are a publisher for Game of Thrones. The audio is not good. Uh, is Stephanie, do you listen to me? Yes, sure, but definitely it's good from this side, so I think it's fine. Okay. Okay, it's good, it's good, yeah, something like I, I speak. So the guys from the 
Fantasy Flight Games contacted me and they were very nice. Uh, they offered me money for, for drawings. Uh, my main concern was uh, because, you know, I, I'm still not experienced. No, no matter how much experience I have, uh, you know, when it comes to business and to and money, I, I feel like a little shy every, every time. But I hope it will pass one day. However, they were very generous, and uh, my main concern was that the, there was a lot, there are a lot of fun of Game of Thrones, of my Game of Thrones drawings, and I was concerned that uh, maybe I'll have to erase them. Uh, but no, the the people from Fantasy Fight Games said, uh, you know, just give us 50 of your characters, and we are making game, and that this is is is, is uh, the entire story. You know. Uh, we managed to make a deal with a couple of males, which is basically uh, if somebody that work with, works with me knows, uh, I, I like to keep uh, things simple, you know. I get a mail, I answer, and we are in business. Would be some, that big story about the Game of Thrones. Yes, definitely. And I wanted to ask it because last time you have told me that uh, they ask for the cards and you were willing to give them for free, but instead you have changed your mind. What changed your mind? Uh, I, I wanted to have that uh, logo on my art. And, you know, I, I, they, they didn't change my mind. I wanted to have a logo and if they, maybe, if somebody is watching, maybe if they have waited a little longer, maybe I will give them for free. Like, again, uh, I guess, yes, I'm shy. Yes, I'm, you know, how, I don't know what was the. I will call it shy, but you know, I'm not stupid. Uh, again, that's a product that sells and stuff like that. But yes, I was willing to to, to give that that art for. Yes, for sure. Break. Yes, for. Uh, you have you wanted to leave some kind of some some kind of label, I think, for your. Uh, uh by Dempsey. Uh, thing to have in portfolio so I did that once and you know every interview and every stuff like that uh, you Mikhail Dimitrescu Kimicho, the guy who has worked on Game of Thrones and stuff like that uh, people think that I was in the series you know working with the people there and stuff like that but actually no on the other hand the, the game that I have done is officially uh, Game of Thrones so you know it, it's middle ground and again you you can't stop there. Uh, I guess everybody's thinking that uh, uh, yeah, I make a Game of Thrones game. Wow, well, I get a lot of money, so now I can live uh, happily from the rest of my life. Uh, it, it, it actually is not like that. Yes, but yeah, but we can see your room. Uh, if there is any chance later, you can show us your room. It will be great. I'll try to show it. You know, I, again, I am very. I don't think you want to see that, but uh, I will try to spin the camera and see something from here. Look, Stefan, I I don't uh, I drink coffee, and now you know for two months in the quarantine I don't don't spend money on coffee. Uh, this is relatively expensive business. Uh, the payments are great, and you saw. Uh, Again, I don't drink, I don't buy fancy clothes and stuff like that. I have uh, one pair of jeans, I think. I have two, but the second one I don't wear because it, it's a little stupid. So I, I, I wear them when the first one is on the, on, in the washing machine, you know. Sure. If it is in washing machine over the night and it's summer, I can wear them the, the other day because, you know, they will dry till, till the morning. Uh, after I finish the... It wasn't finished, it was finished. Game of Thrones project was finished when they asked, you know, because the drawings were done. But you know, the, the amount I get, you can uh, spend in a two or three months. So you don't have, uh, you can't live on old glory or some form of glory. You really, really have to work. Uh, so my day is usually like do a couple of illustrations, a couple of drawings and sketches a day because, you know, you have to respect the deadlines, you have to do the deadlines. I tend to be late a couple of days, but I manage to do stuff. 
Yeah, sure. We have a question from the public. It's from Maya4AC. Can you read it or you want me to read it? Do you use any specific Photoshop brushes? There's a question. Uh, hey, I really like your work. Something I noticed in chat that I always will post. Uh, I don't really know how. To, I try to do stuff uh, relatively different. You know, I do a lot of, of characters. And uh, you, I'm not speaking style style wise because you know uh, they usually say, "Hey, well, this is the game by Himicho. I can know it. They all look the same." It's uh, the question of the style. About the poses, uh, try to do do them as much differently as you can, and as much as much dynamically or atmospherically you can. You know, there is a lot of fantastic illustrators that I admire and enjoy, that uh, when they do illustration, it's like uh, still photography, you know, uh, his drawing, it's like somebody said, stop now and photograph it, you know. And there are illustrators that are making, like, show, I don't know, Frank Miller, Hugo Pratt, that are making illustration and drawings with a couple of brushes and they look very dynamic and stuff like that. Uh, make your drawings interesting, and you know it's always accepting if the art has to be like that but uh, make your drawings interesting you know it's better to, to draw somebody sneezing or yawing than standing still you know this is for the characters so that will be my answer try to make your art interesting and speaking metaphorically like it's animated or moving understand me yeah, sure. Nice. So, can we go with the drawing sessions and afterwards to go, to continue with the questions? You are the boss here. Uh, you want me to uh, draw first? Uh, yes, definitely. Let's start with the drawing, and later we can continue with the chatting session. So it's we we have plenty of time. So we're going to we're going to have a. One minute break and then we're going to return with <laughs> the legendary the Micho. <laughs> okay, we're going to with the break. So hold your questions. So I will try to do uh, one character as I do it for the, the games. So hope the some friends of mine that we are working on the games. So this is some form of overall process that I'm doing in practically everything. Uh, illustration uh, or concept art or storyboards or stuff like that. I don't do uh, a lot of sketches actually because I'm too lazy. Uh, you have to do a lot of sketching, but I don't usually do that. <coughs> so Stefan was wanting some sort of Viking, but I don't like Vikings in the moment. Although the that trailer from the Assassin's Creed was great. I saw it in a couple of hours. So I will try to do some form of goblin actually. Hope it doesn't lack a lot. I am doing this in small resolution. So I think it's uh, you know in centimeters, just for the sake of the, the of the screen. So hope you guys are seeing everything okay, and nice. And yes, goblins are practically one of the, my favorite creatures. I don't know why, but you know, I'm not used to speak when I draw because uh, most of the time I'm alone in my studio except when my kids came here, here but uh, they are usually playing in the other room of the studio. So again, I don't speak a lot while I'm drawing. So sorry if I stop commenting in, in some time. As you see, I did relatively, draw relatively loosely. Uh, 
Teranenic. I will not use it later. I, I, I am uh, trying to do as much as the original art as I can. Uh, that's a form of a question of principles. You know, I, I don't use old art. Even when I have some old art that is not used or it wasn't paid or whatever, um, I, I don't usually resell it because, you know, people are asking for original art and I tend to, to give them. So this sketch or something like that is mainly for the stream and I'm, maybe I'll post it on social networks, on Facebook or stuff like that, but I really won't gonna use it in the future for money or stuff like that. So basically this is how I work. I usually make a form and work inside. I uh, usually use a lot of layers, but uh, I don't, do, don't want to fuck up the stream. So I will try to use minimum layers in the moment. Hope everything's okay there. <laughs> I try to be as loose as possible because you know uh, what you see when it's printed or cut, it will be something like this. So I can put as much details as I want, but again, uh, you have to be, I have to spare time, you know, uh, can't uh, spend a lot of time on doing one illustration on something that you won't see in the final uh, project. Sometimes I do, but uh, I usually make, uh, try to make the best illustration for the time that's given to do it, if you understand what I want to say. You'll notice that I don't use the paint bucket a lot because I like to, you know, do the painting thing with hands. Trying to do stuff to look more like brush and stuff like that. Again, this is the way I mostly do my stuff. When I'm doing covers or, or some illustration that requires more attention, of course, I'm doing it more slowly and in amount of because you know the covers are really really important because you know they are selling the the project they are uh, showing what is inside the, the project and the, or the box or the book so you have to put a li extra attention in details to those because uh, when you see them online or in a shop or in a game shop or in a comic book shop you know they have to catch the eye of the potential customer I press Ctrl S button a lot. You may notice that because uh, it will happen a couple of times in the past. It, it, it will happen in the future that you know uh, my old Photoshop 7 from I don't know which year, 2007 uh, or 2009. It is like 15 years old Photoshop, so you, uh, it, it tends to crash from time to time. So I do press. Control S button a lot. <coughs> if Stefan is here, he can ask me something while I'm drawing, so I don't stop talking if he's here. Or if anybody is interested in anything, I can check the question as I work. Is it some form of goblin that I draw? Yes, they ask for Samurai Jack because your art was amazing, definitely. 
for Samurai Jack you have created some amazing pieces. Can you share some secrets behind it? Oh, I love Samurai Jack. I, uh, I really uh, love Cartoon Network, the old one. Uh, the, the new one is okay, but you know, I'm an old guy and I, I like the cartoons that were on the old, old Cartoon Network, you know, Powerpuff Girls. Uh, Cow and Chicken, uh, Samurai Jack, Johnny Bravo, and stuff like that. Uh, because you know, uh, there are artists in the world that are fantastic in, in, in drawing, and uh, Cartoon Network and Samurai Jack and cartoons like that show us that you know, you don't have to draw uh, photorealistic people to achieve uh, some form of atmosphere or make it look good, you know, and I was mesmerized by some Jack because, you know, you have uh, some shots that are magnificent and it's with, with minimal style that, stylized line. So that's what my, uh, that's why I love it because, you know, they uh, draw it simple, but you can uh, sh show the message through the very uh, simple and stylized, stylized drawing. Why do you use an old version of Photoshop? Because I'm old. Uh, I like Photoshop 7. Uh, I don't put a lot of software in my computer. I had to install Fortnite for my son some time ago to buy skins from my computer because I can't buy them on the PlayStation. Uh, and I installed uh, Steam for Dota 2. Uh, other than that, I don't think I have any programs except the Photoshop 7 that I work on. Uh, I installed Discord yesterday because I did it for this. I have Viber and Word, and I don't know how to use the Word, so I don't know. I'm old and I like Photoshop. I have it on my old on all, all my computers, so I, I'm not 50 years old. Uh, you're uh, referring to the quarantine drawing number 50. I'm 40 years old actually, I think. So. But yes, I'm old. I'm old, and I'm uh, Photoshop Seven works for me. It works on my old computers. It works on my Simply Companion number, uh, the first one that got out. So I don't see a reason why should I buy anything, or why should I learn anything else. I do hope to learn 3D in the future, because I would like to make my own minis and print them. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah, sure, because you will be an amazing sculptor, definitely, if you try to learn. Uh, I used to do some stuff in the brush came out. But it was mostly, you know, a simple model and painting over it. I think I did some works and stuff like that while I was working in Scopy and the studio. Okay, that will be it. Uh, these are my brushes. I don't know if you can see them properly and read them. The names, the name of those are my names, you know. I, uh, uh, Hard Black, uh, Kakuza, Shpaska and stuff like that, you know. I don't know how to say them in English because they are, you know, for my use. If anybody wants them, they are not something special. It's something like... Uh, is something like I can use, uh, not that there is something specific of like something. You know? I use two or three of them, as you can see on my drawings, but they are okay for me now, so I don't need anything else. How much time are we on, uh, Stefan? For now. Yes, for now we are 44 minutes, so don't worry. <laughs> I thought that we are like 15 or something like that. So again, I, uh, I'm drawing simply, you know, uh, try to follow some generic rules. You know, I, I don't draw, I don't paint photorealistic because uh, uh, that's what I think. I, I don't know to paint photorealistic. Uh, I, I find uh, it's very funny to 
do stuff that you can see that are drawn, you know, these little imperfections, like this helmet here is not perfect, you know, uh, the ear here is not coming uh, perfect as it should be in, from the helmet. But, you know, I, I'm working stylized and I uh, I do like the the, the the people who are drawing photorealistic, but I uh, do really enjoy the people who are drawing stuff like stylized, like, I don't know, Simon Beasley, who is drawing magnificent everything for Samurai Jack and stuff like that. Frank Miller, etc. So again, this is some sort of process I'm usually working on. As you see, there are not actually a lot of layers, only the sketch layer and the layer I'm painting on now. I usually use a lot of layers, but now for, for the stream again, no need to. If this was a comic, uh, when I do comics, I usually uh, make uh, each panel as illustration separately and then I merge them together. That's fun. Maybe there is an easier way to do that. Maybe there is an easier way to do this, but uh, this one is mine. So, this, is, this is the Mitchell way. So I, <laughs> so I wanted to ask you, uh, what do you want most to let's say to draw like goblins uh, vikings or something like that well i prefer monsters and stuff like that uh, because you know uh, we see a lot of art of vikings and stuff around us and people and subjects you know social subjects but i would really like to do drawings with a lot of rusts and goblins and monsters spaceships maybe massive battles stuff like that because, you know, I, I like to draw things that do not exist in real life. Because this is, this is what uh, the things we do. You know, the 3D, the animation, the, the movies, the stuff like that are, are actually magic. Uh, we are helping people, like in these times, to have a piece of, you know, fun and quiet and to relax a little in hard periods like this. So basically we are doing magic. Yes. Goblin from uh, nothing, you know. I try to make it funny. So when the kids, you know, see that, they say, look, it's funny, Goblin, wahaha, and great day for me, that was that. Yes. Thank you also for sharing this, uh, your experience and the, uh, all of your ways. Uh, and also we have some few questions into the chat. Okay. Your coordination with colors and how was uh, I usually uh, uh, de use uh, default swatches in uh, in Photoshop. You know, there is uh, uh, the so the swatches there are, there are in a corner. I think it's the the default swatches on uh, Photoshop server, and I'm using them because you know, uh, I guess uh, you, again, art is art. You are artists, you, you dress cool, you act cool, you know, I'm staying home with my shorts and stuff like that. But you have to understand that, uh, again, 3D, drawing, animation, concept art, production, everything, uh, that's a job. And you have to do it. You're paid for that, uh, live from that, probably, you probably live from that. And you, you see, uh, over the time, you have some, some sort of routine, you know. So when I get a script or a description for a character or description for a scene or stuff like that, I usually have a certain, if I don't get uh, directions what to do, I usually have some sort of uh, basic knowledge what I'm going to do. You know, if I do Goblin, I will do him green and he will having, he will having some uh, loin clothes over his uh, private parts and he will, have, he will have some rusty helmets and stuff like that. So after that is uh, going through from your head to the back on tablet with pen and hand. And we have one other question from Yana. It's okay. Yana, huh? well, because of social pressure, dear. Uh, uh, Yana, I, I have always wanted to be an artist. You know, uh, I can do I can do anything else. Uh, literally, you know, I, I, I can't drive a car, I 
relatively don't know to fix stuff. And all my uh, I, I, all my energy and dreams and stuff like that were concentrated in uh, me doing art. You know, of course it is hard. Uh, not everybody can do it because you know you have obligations. You know, I have a family. It's a little hard. You know, I have two small kids. You have to uh, give them attention and stuff like that. When I was younger, you have to go to school. You you, you, you can't beat. Uh, you can't. Uh, Leave all the civilization stuff that are surrounding you just to become, I don't know, an artist. So you, you have to you have to find some sort of balance. What kind of balance depends on you. Uh, you know. So and yeah, you can consider quitting, but you know when you see that you know you have to bring food on the table. Uh, you, you see the, the new Funkos are coming, uh, you see, when you see the, the new comics are coming, and you see the new games are coming, and you say, okay, this is a job, I have to do 10,000 illustrations with goblins, I will gladly do them. And you know, uh, however hard this, it is, uh, after a while, again, in a couple of months or in a year when the game is out or, out, or the cartoon is out, when you see it, it's, it's, it's really nice to see it, you know. Even this goblin, I may, may not like it now, but in a year or so, maybe I say, hey, look, this is super goblin that I drew for Stefan Stream, and from that team there, there came 10 more illustrators that, are work, uh, that I'm working for now, and it was, a, uh, it was not a wasted goblin. It was goblin that was put in the good news. Hope that answers. Yeah, but how much drawings have you made so far? So for for let's say for work and for uh, just for hobby. I I don't know, man. I I do draw. I draw every day. I usually do a couple of illustrations a day. I have to do them, <coughs> you know. But, but I I don't count. Uh, uh, one period when I was starting, I I had. Uh, uh, routine, you know, when I draw something, I will make it uh, JPEG, uh, JPEG, so I can have it, you know, for the preview for the future, and to have it in folder, you know, for future when you go through the drawings or you, you try to to to, cal to count them. But you know, if you miss one day, you know, I'm drawing illustrations. Oh, this is great color. I should make it a JPEG, uh, but I'm too lazy now. I'm going to play on PlayStation, and you, you don't do that on the JPEG. And the next day, uh, you do a couple of more illustrations, and you have to do them, uh, you have to save them as JPEGs, uh, but you have to transfer that cover from yesterday to JPEG, and say, nah, I will, I will save it for Sunday. And a couple of months later, you know, you have a lot of drawings to be saved as JPEGs and previews and stuff like that, so just leave it. So I use you, uh, every photo you see is from my Facebook page because you know I uh, I use it as a portfolio and as a preview for the occasions like this. Yeah, sure. I will now share the Facebook page on the chat so everybody can follow you there. Uh, please, Facebook page, not my private page, when I put uh, pictures from my wedding and my you know, me cleaning my house. Me in the kitchen. <laughs> yes, definitely. I will direct them to the right one. <laughs> uh, Sveti Nikola Dvijadipet with my relatives. If I'm just please remind me we are done with this to play the, the teaser trailer from the animated movie we are working on. Hope some of the people will like to see it. The Donian future animation with the guys from Nick's animation. It's going a little slow because, you know, uh, projects like movies and stuff like that usually need a lot of money. And we don't have a lot of money. 
but we have a small, very talented, and very, I, I don't know how to say it, uh, small crew that is eager to do the animated movie, hopefully on in two years, I hope. So, I, I will show you one teaser trailer, which is five minutes long, and you will see some of the work the animators, because you know I'm art director there, I'm doing like drawings, I have a prestige title, but the actually work are doing the guys that are drawing backgrounds and that are animating, that are they are still animating, and you and the, the, the director and the people that are in these times, in this period, uh, practically without money and financing uh, on the first Macedonian animated movie and hopefully we will make it someday and I hope you will like what I'm going to play you in sometime when I'm finished with this yeah definitely I love it and also some of my friends were working on, a, on that movie and very impressed by the work and the art style I love it really you know uh, it's easy to make a great cartoon in our country because there is actually not a lot of animated movies here. There is actually now none. I was involved in a couple of... I'm talking about a uh, feature animation, uh, a full leg movie. So not about the short animations, not about children animation, not about political uh, animation. I'm talking about, you know, a, a, a real animated 3D movie. So this is something we are trying with my friends to do a couple of years ago but again uh, it is a big process it is a hard process and we, I hope we get a life from this situation in a moment and I hope uh, we will have uh, energy financials to finish the, the animation and sure uh, on, on the end uh, sh we're going to make a let's say because there is a question about the Noki and some sir. So on the end session with the chat, we're going to transfer you if you want uh, on Macedonian. So definitely you're going to express yourself even better. Ah, okay. Uh, just to finish the drawings. And... Noki, Chundalunga, I don't know, Petko and stuff like that. Sure. Well, I, I will try to expand the Noki because I see that the, the question um, again uh, I'm a professional and I'm signed behind every of my project and I really don't like government and stuff like that I can say that uh, those cartoons in one period were criticizing the government but I wasn't very interested in that you know Doing, using my drawings and stuff like that. Uh, until one moment, you know, the, the people who are working there are my friends. Uh, I like them. I love. I like them. You know, I, I don't want to mention names now, but you know, uh, animation, uh, cartooning, comics, and stuff like that are supposed to bring you know uh, joy or laugh to some degree. You know. Uh, politicians are exposed to that and should be exposed to that because you know they are the government. You know they shouldn't uh, build. build uh, you know, you have to f have fun of them. But you know when uh, the stuff gets real, you know uh, start to interfering in uh, other people's lives and stuff like it. You know you are. Uh, I don't know if you are crossfire hurricane, but if you know. Uh, if I start putting you like a person in the political animated show, you know, it, it, it doesn't have a purpose anymore, you know. I'm using the medium to really attack you. Again, uh, the people who are working on it now, even now, are my friends, and I would really like to drink a coffee one day with them. Uh, but again, when a project goes off from, from, off from the limits of the medium that it is, you know, again, animation should bring fun and joy, not, you know, people fighting and 
you die, no, you die, no, you, everybody die, and stuff like that. So that will be it. By the way, the no here is on page, and again, uh, I'm signed of everything. So you can ask me freely about anything. It was a very popular show, by the way, and everybody was watching it one period. Yes, definitely everybody was watching it and I was very intrigued and I was... It, it was funny, they even get a couple of long period. But you know, uh, the things went out, you know. Again, it's a political show. It is a format that it has to be in, you know, to be politicians and stuff like that. How do you use it? Depends on the... on you, you know. And I want to, uh, it's great that we have uh, also the concept artists from Marvel joining, uh, joining us at the stream. So. Hope uh, they will publish a comic in Marvel, but someday in or animated movie that includes goblins. So they will, will hire me for the, you know, cheaply. Yes, yeah, sure. Here is the, the Facebook page from uh, from Chris and I'm glad that we have uh, get to know each other and hopefully in the future if he's available definitely he will not be but I hope he'll be joining us as well I hope you won't be available okay so this will be some form of overall process that I do, you know, I can put in a lot of details, I can put, I don't know, a big monster behind his head, I can put a lot of other goblins and stuff like that, but, you know, this is usually the way I do my stuff. Uh, so hopefully you get something from this. Stefan, I hope it is okay, so... Yes, definitely, it's perfect. Everything that you do, it's okay, really. So we are having pause now for the trailer, I guess. And after that, I will try to answer the questions you have on every subject. I usually work in RGB, RGB because I don't like SMIC because I don't know. I have always voted in RGB, so yes. Yes, perfect. So we're going to have a break now for 30 seconds or one minute. So bear with us and we are going to show you the new trailer. So is, if there is any more questions, definitely now Micho can read it clearly. Yeah. It, it, it's a little big trailer, like around 800 megabytes. So, okay, I, I'll, I'll try to transfer it so you'll see. megabytes okay it will be okay with you yes definitely it's okay with me but... okay okay any question including my private life and drawing? what are you doing when you're not drawing let's start with that one uh i am spending time with my family i play on playstation and uh that will be it I used to go uh, and drink coffee you know, in the morning and in the noon, uh, but it was an hour or two hours a day. So actually, I'm having a great time now because it, it's basically this is what I do in every normal day, uh, minus the going out for an hour coffee. Yes, I miss my friends, but we are usually chatting every day on Viber and playing Dota from around 7 till around 9. Uh, sadly, we have to start to play Dota 2 because we are a bunch of old guys that used to play Dota 1. But you know, we have to download it illegally and uh, crack it. And you know, there are like 15 of us, 15 people of us, and you know, everybody has has to have the same version. So we transfer to Dota 2. But uh, yes, again, I'm usually playing on PlayStation, which is probably one round of Overwatch. I'm trying to play Call of Duty, that uh, new mode that is Battle Royale, but I'm having a hard 
uh, time of uh, going to that, you know, uh, dropping from a plane and going through vast amount of space to find somebody to kill. So I'm more of a shooter like Overwatch player, and I'm usually playing one round a day. From nice. So you're playing plenty of games. Definitely, I. I'm not playing. I'm playing a, a one minute round, uh, and I'm playing one. Hopefully match of Dota, but the rest of it is for, you know, hanging out with kids and drawing. But most part of the day is me standing in my studio uh, alone and drawing stuff. Nice. So we have a question. Uh, what's the one thing in your room that is your absolute favorite? Absolute favorite? I don't have absolute favorite. You know, I, I, I like my swords because I like swords and I was happy when I buy one. So I bought one other, and I bought a third one, and a fourth one, and I'm hoping to have some great collection from them. But you know, every toy I buy, is, uh, it's great for me. My kids love toys too. So can you can you make a 360 of your room so I can show? Playing around. Yeah, I have alarms and cameras here, so, you know, just in case. And I'm uh, amateurly uh, doing archery. So, you know, the arrow is faster than human when he's running with it. So, I don't know if you can see the stuff. Yes, for sure, it's, it's definitely amazing. <laughs> Fix my camera because, you know, I don't, I'm old guy. Hope it is okay. 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 Definitely, now I'm even more jealous that I have been in your place, even though I have been in Bitola for several times. Uh, you... come next time, you will come. Yeah, definitely, I will, I will come. So, uh, you have started also Kickstarter, so that was, that was uh, new for you, and definitely for, let's say, for the board games, and it was pretty successful. So, you have created how many board games? I don't know. Uh, there is a page called Board Game Geek. They, they, it's the page to go to when you're working for board games and you, you're interested in board games. Um, I, I did a lot of board games in couple of, this couple of years. And I'm really not sure how Kickstarter works. Uh, uh, that's usually the part from the you know publishing companies. I know there are a lot of people in board game industry. There are a lot of super nice people in the industry and you know uh kickstarter works as a prepaid service for the stuff you want to own so when somebody gets a game or a movie or a comic book if you want to see it make uh, made you are actually helping to to make it i'm not uh, i'm not into mechanics of the kickstarter and i really don't understand how that goes as you see in my photo in my old photoshop 7 I, you know, I tend to keep stuff simple and, you know, uh, organizing campaigns in the moment. Maybe I'll organize, organize some campaign in the future for me, probably, I hope, maybe not. But then I will be more interested when in the moment. I'm mainly interested when somebody gives me a project and I'll, I do it, you know, I do my part the best way I can. So that will be me, uh, all my knowledge about Kickstarter, stuff like that. Yes, so we have, we have now more questions, you can read them, and also the file is sent, so I can show it in one minute. Okay, uh, we, we didn't have such a luck with uh, 30 megabytes file, now with 800 megabytes we do have a lot of file. Uh, I should leave those questions here. Question not to scroll, as you are working from all. Uh, remote is, uh, it's nice. I used to work in the advertising agency. Uh, it is nice because uh, you go to work, you have uh, work time from 9 to 4, I don't know. And you know you are in the place when the work is done, you, know, you are surrounded with the people who are working on the relatively same projects as you. So you can concentrate on the work and after the job, after work, you know, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, you can probably do stuff you like. Uh, playing board games, uh, 
reading comics, go out and stuff like biking, like Stefan, stuff like that. Uh, but you know, you are uh, on on the clock. You have to be on the work. You have to go out and stuff like that. For me, it's better to stay at home because you know I can work in my underwear or shorts like now, like in any day. Uh, you can go to bathroom anytime. You don't have a colleagues. You know you. you stay on the number two in the closet and somebody is uh, striking the door, you know, hurry up, hurry up, having an emergency here and stuff like that. On the other hand, you know, uh, you can uh, have a broken pipe from the water in the house, so you have to fix it in your home and stuff like that. Uh, it, it really depends on you. If you work to work, you do want to work from uh, home, you like to be, you know, I have Coca-Cola here, water here, toys, PlayStation, and stuff like that. I can work relatively relaxed, and that's that's great for me, as long as the job is done. Uh, and in in this moment, I will never work in a, in a in-house because you know I'm used to have my hair like this. You know, now I'm wearing a hat, so you don't see it. But I, I like to stay cool and relaxed as much as I can. That will be it. You know, uh, again, when you are freelancing, but that's uh, concerning when you're working in a, in a place somewhere. Uh, you know, uh, if kids call you, if you have some, for, you have to go out, you know. Uh, unexpected things can happen, but that's life, you know. Every, in, in every place can happen unexpected things. So. Freelancing for me is great. I don't know if I have to correct it, but correctly, but hope it does. So I think we're you know, almost done and ready for the trailer, so we're definitely going to need to turn more seconds. Okay, so... Uh, catchy name. And also, oh, bounce. You, I think from the same person the question was, uh, you will make the balance. You know, for the the family is very. I'm lucky to have very family who understands me a lot. So you know, but uh, there are times of day when you really have to stop working and you have to see the your friends, your family. You have to go to lunch and stuff. Especially in this uh, this period, you know, everybody is home and you 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 must have some time for the family because on the end in the end of the day. Uh, you know, everything I do is actually for, for for my family. Investing in my kids' future, you know, the, giving them the proper school schooling, giving them the proper place to live, food on the table, pay bills and stuff like that. So yes, you, you will have to find your balance yourself. Uh, Colbran 5 or something like that. Uh, yes, I will definitely... I, I left the ISO the Song of Ice and Fire project uh, a little base because I have a lot of projects and deadlines now, but I, I, I really don't give up on that, so I hope to do more stuff in in the future. Jiggy, yes, I know you want to work in the underwear. Uh, how many superhero toys you have, man? Totem creation. A, a lot, actually, and I hope to have even more in the future. Any more questions and any question or any question? Because I don't know where to look. Yes, but they are waiting for the trailer, so... We have four, three, two, one second, so... This is a working project, so... Everything you see is with reserve. There is a lot of things to be done in the future. Hopefully. I would now change the screen and we're going to go with that. So let me just open this. Here it is. Sorry about that. So it was <laughs> it was definitely amazing. So as I have I have seen the this trailer with the 
dialogue so there is a lot of uh, good animations and i think this is amazing really i i think it will be num number one but i hope it's be it's, it will, it's going to be, be finished hopefully soon uh, and kudos to the the, the spectacular crew that is working I, again uh, my work on this uh, animated movie is relatively minimal compared to the guys who are animating and drawing all the day and, you know because i'm an art director you know i just they send me the art and i try to look cool and i tell them you know uh fix this because you have to fix it because i'm director but actually they are doing the the hard work and of course the, the director got tetanowski so hopefully it will be finishing a year or two. I know it's a little long for our. It's a little long period, but you know um, we don't have a big crew here in Macedonia for animation and stuff like that. So as we do the movie, we are learning a new stuff and we are learning animation and we're learning, you know, animating, uh, 3D modeling. I don't know background design and stuff like that. So hopefully after we do this this one, somebody will say, "Ha! Huh, it sucks. We'll make." another better and you know they make another cartoon and it's better than this one yeah it's good to be <laughs> yeah, and also it's good to be inspiration for those people so I, I i really hope so because you know uh it's hard for for people like me to have uh, i like to talk about comics animation and games and stuff like that and there, there aren't uh, there aren't a lot of people around me that are interested in this except you know uh, there's a crew that we do communicate every day but it will be nice in some period that comes in the future to have a lot of young people and young artists and young animators and stuff like that, you know, where you can talk about, you know, comics, animation and cool stuff. Yes, for sure. So I think it's best for us to follow the Mitchell on the on the fan page and also for you to finish it faster because it looked amazing hopefully and i'm getting hungry now because it is 10 30 so i have to because i'm an old person and i have to do it this stream was nice hopefully my english didn't suck hopefully i did answer most of your questions you can contact me almost every day on my facebook page on my mail or i don't know every social network where i am because i again i'm almost all the time on the computer and when i'm not i'm on my mobile phone so you have if you need have some question or you have stuff to ask me and show me on whatever feel free to do so because if you don't i will spare my time in playing overwatch or replaying god of war or reading some comics and again uh, in these trouble times it would to say to everybody of you stay safe uh draw more because there's a lot of talented people and talented uh, persons from macedonia online and stuff like that but i really don't see a lot of drawings or a lot of relatively professional drawings for them so i i will urge you to draw more and have a great time yes for sure thanks a lot the the amazing the Micho and i'm glad to know you in person and hopefully one day we can work on something together because i'm very i'm very fascinated uh if you want to say something in the, for the audience even more please do so you can do it in macedonian as well because we most of the audience are macedonians i mean Стримови не се живе, баш треба човек нешто и да пусто треба не глупости да шитат там за карантина ушина да склепаме за 51 ден ќе биде најверојатно нешто со лако. Значи црта е денес се заебавајте, ќе помени ова страна во што е всеки ќе помени. И ако сакате игри, ако сакате цртање, ако сакате што и да е, немате апсолутно никакво продаја да сте идиоти. Значи треба ако сакате стрип, то стрип. Значи сега имаш Facebook. Но сериозно Цртај, се цртај, игра, цртај, игра, нема да ја правиш, нема да ја правиш ни втора, тама ќе правиш тата, тама ќе правиш тата, мужиките ви е некој друг, мужиките ви да ми јас, не да ќе ти поможам, најродно ќе ти убијам и ќе те скријам, за да ги скористам твој талент, 
a vam natrdeti. To bi bilo. Pa da se ok, pa bi na kraj kraja, ne moraju natrdeti. Uživajte, živejte se. Dur ne vrati tamo, 30 godine i posle ki treba da parate čar. That will beat. Great, so in the chat I'm going to announce our next speaker, it's Darko Mitev, so be sure to to support the event and be sure to support the, the amazing Demicho and hope to see you again in the future. So I'm going to end the stream now and please do so share the event in the chat. So thank you and see you in the future. Bye.